Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, I'm uh, drew up a diagram here. Make my engine mounts, uh, alternator relocation bracket, and the engine lift plate for the LS motors. Um, you know, I said I was going to go ahead and buy the brackets, I mean, the uh, mounts for the engine, but I decided to go ahead and make them myself. So I drew these up, take it down to the... Uh, Take it down to the metal shop and have them to cut me some pieces out and, you know, get everything welded together from there. Um, everything's going to be quarter inch steel. Um, just make sure everything's good and strong, you know. Um, on these, you know, decided to do it myself. Save me a few dollars. Learn a few things at the same time, you know. Never go wrong with that. Um... Alternator bracket is to move the uh, alternator up to the passenger side head, so got that all measured up. Where my holes need to be and all that good stuff. Um, lift bracket, I mean, the little lift plate using the little galley cover uh, holes. This won't be my only LS swap, I'll be doing some more in the future once I get this thing completed. You know, the next one should be a piece of cake, so that's going to come in handy because you know it's hard. Uh, Getting that engine all the way back to the firewall and not really having enough room for, you know, chains and bolts and stuff like that back there. So, that's going to come in handy. But, yeah, I'm about to take these diagrams down to the metal shop, get my metal cut out. Um, come back home, start getting this stuff welded up. And hopefully have this thing in there in a couple of days. Okay, here's the uh, a picture I found. Um, this is how my mount should look. I'm not saying they're gonna look just like this, but they should look similar to this once I'm done with it. I'm uh, both the, the the plates to the engine, lower the engine down to where I want it, take my measurements, cut my tabs, and uh, you know, weld everything up from the mark, everything welded up. But yeah, this is how it should look, uh, with the bushing attached to the frame portion of the mount. These are the uh, universal bushing assemblies that I'm ordering, that I'm using for the mounts. So, yeah, everything should look pretty much similar to this here. Okay, here's the alternator bracket that uh, I'm going to use to relocate it to the passenger side head. Uh, found this on uh, ls1tech.com. I found this on that side. Uh, I think the guy put it in a, a S10, I believe. And this is the bracket he made to relocate his alternator. Didn't have enough room down low. Liked it, so I think I'm going to try to, uh, you know, duplicate that. Um, there's the, the alternator bracket. Here it is mounted to the head. This is the portion I told you I'm going to have to, you know, notch out for the alternator to fit. Here it again with the alternator mounted up and out the way. Work perfect in the, uh, my car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those metal pieces cut and try to get that done. This is the uh, picture of the front of the engine using the same accessories I have so yeah it looks good I don't have anything sitting over to that uh that left side well right side of the car on the passenger side so that alternate amount would be perfect for what I'm trying to do but yeah just giving you idea showing you pictures of uh, what I got planned hopefully everything go right but yeah now I'm heading out get this metal cut and come back and start getting this stuff together. All right, y'all back from the metal shop. I got my uh, steel cut for the motor plates here. Uh, one for each side. My alternator relocation bracket and some little tabs are uh, having to cut out for me. Um, the mount plates going, you know, similar to this without all the fancy cuts. Just, uh, you know, smooth the edges out. All that good stuff. Got a um, 
I gotta measure and mark my holes, get those mugs cut out. Um, now I'm to the block. Alternator relocation bracket. You know, like I said, I got a got a trim up in here to uh, be able to fit the alternator in there. Trim, cut a little section off down here, drill my holes. You know, this is the how it's gonna be. So, be show you what I need, to, what I'm talking about when I say I need to, you know, cut the little moon shape or whatever you want to call it uh, my little tabs here I didn't get the um I didn't get the uh, the the metal for the motor plate lift plate cut out but you know it's gonna be similar to this just you know some quarter inch steel welded up tabs bolt like I say make the, lifting the engine easy and you know that's how I look bolted to the engine on the uh, cherry picker but yeah, um, I'm gonna get that next time I shoot up there. Forgot to get it this time. I was in a rush to get back. But that's what I got going on. Bell boy always up to something, trying to make some. So this is what I'm doing now. Uh, Y'all stay tuned.